Damn! Yeah. All right. She's a jewel, all right, and she's mine. All mine. <laughs> You want us to put it back in the box, Mr. Boar? Absolutely not. No one will ever set their grimy paws on her. Mine. Mine. You do know the secret of the Platinum Peacemaker, gentlemen. No matter who fires it, it cannot miss. And with this, I will, uh, shall we say, dismiss Governor Clemens permanently. And with him out of the way, this entire territory will be all mine. Donde vas, Lupe? I was just going to check on your horse, Senor Boar. Go ahead. Chester, I trust you'll keep this a secret between us. With this gun, I can do anything. Even become rich? Yes. Win an Oscar? Yes. The Nobel Peace Prize? Yes. Get elected president? Well, almost anything. Buster, now I'm going to drink that whiskey without touching the hat. And if I do, you buy me the shot. And if and I don't, I buy you two shots. Ain't no way. Better my. Man, that there was tasty. Dumb bought me a drink. <laughs> Let me try. Nothing or no. <laughs> and then, and then. You did do it. No, I, I didn't do it. Well, then I guess you owe me two more shots. Just thirsty for us. Both, ma'am. Mm. You know, boredom can be as lethal as a six shooter in a small town like this. If something don't happen soon, I'm just gonna have to hightail it on the stage east to New York. With what money? Well, with all the money you've been hoodwinking from steady customers drinking my whiskey. Where's Miss Carmelita at? Gentry, calm down for you up and have another asthma attack. Miss Carmelita, you've got to come outside. It's your pa. He's been shot. He said it was Boar that done done this, ma'am. But he didn't say why. You got yourself a darn Jim Houghton telegram from El Dorito. Whoa, 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 now. Hold your bitches, girl. Don't you mean El Dorado? Uh, 
No, sorry. Tain't never heard of no El Dorado. But I know you got yourself a problem bigger in Texas itself. Well, can I read my telegram? Well, that there's part of the big problem. I lost it. But I remember what it said and all. It came from a Carmelita and she bid you to come running. Carmelita, huh? <laughs> Shoot a can of beans. I ain't thought of her in years. Right away, huh? Yeah, well, it was all just a matter of time, I reckon. You see, young lady, the secret to fulfilling a woman's desires. She said is... some deadbeat scoundrel done killed her pa and she was figuring you to cut a trail on him. Oh. For that, huh? What did she at least mention who done it? Uh some businessman named Boar. Said if anyone could haul him to justice, it'd be you. You said Boar? Why that rattlesnake's so treacherous. He'd steal a fly from a blind spider. It'd be my pleasure bringing him in. She also said he had something she called the Platinum Peacemaker. <laughs> that there changes things just a mind. But she's counting on you. Look, that scorpion and his brood, they don't worry me none. But the Peacemaker? Let me tell you about the Platinum Peacemaker. It was made from Aztec Platinum, which was stolen by Cortez himself, taken back to Spain. There it was stolen by the pirate known as Blackbeard and forged into the deadliest cannon in his arsenal. And when his ship sank off the Carolina coast, the cannon lay in rest at the bottom of the sea for 100 years. It finally washed up on shore and was found by Sam Colt, who turned it into the Platinum Peacemaker. The souls of every person who've come in contact with that platinum still curse the peacemaker today. You're coming with me. Oh no, sir. I'm a fear to dine. For good luck! And your luck just ran out, mister. Reach for some coin. Help brother out. Yeah, do it. I reckon if this here's a robbery, I'm gonna have to shoot the lot of you. You <laughs> 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 crazy. You crazy. <laughs> wow. Just we'll make your move if you must, stranger. Entertain some folks with that. What's your name, B? They call me a heart. I apologize, ladies. I said my name's a heart. Y'all got an outhouse nearby? Yeah. Dang! Beans 
again? Boy, that sucks. Stupid old smelly beans. <laughs> What can I do you for, mister? Well, you, you got some paint in here there, son. Whiskey would be fine. Make that a double. Sorry, mister. Frank and Jesse done bought up all the whiskey for some fancy little party. Well, James? No, sir. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. Uno, my eye. That feller there is a rabbit-eared, low-down, cheating son of a pole cat. <laughs> You showed that cur dog. Get the hair out of here! You nasty bastard! What's the matter, huh? Who should nice black dancer and car prayer? What'd he say? He's a Chinaman. Ain't nobody understand him much. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Simpson. What you beating us, Stalangela? Huh? Oh. Well, I'm just in town to... 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 get a shot of whiskey and a bath. Oh! and to bring the Platinum Peacemaker back to Lubbock. King, you crazy man. No thing collect me. You stick to building the railroad, Mr. Lee, and leave me to attend to doing what I do best. No gun prayer, huh, Mr. Simpson. You keep low profile and you go home arrive. Okay, Joe? Excuse me, Sheriff, but I think I know what this cowboy needs. A bath and a nice tanning experience. Oh my God, what are they doing? No, 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 Wait, wait, why, why not? Why not? No, 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 I don't reckon I'll be needing another feller tanning my hide. I'll do respect and all. <laughs> it's not that type of tanning, silly. I just make your skin, shall we say, a little darker. It relaxes you. We'll make you look like one of them New York actors and such. <laughs> oh, miss, I, I... Shh. Later. Now, don't you feel just a whole lot better? Oh. Oh! Ugh. I, re I reckon you might or I have a mighty good reason for being in here. Yeah, I reckon I'm here to return the Peacemaker back to its original owner. There were a white fella in here 30 minutes ago that said the same thing. But I reckon two more bodies ain't gonna fill up Boot Mound no how. Seems to me a more appropriate name would be Boot Hill. <sighs> what the Circus Hades was that? That sounds like boys boys done blowed up the telegraph office again. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, my name is Tom <laughs> Chester, do us all a favor and do some more green work. Oh, shucks.
May I remind you gentlemen we have a planet to save? Krakatoa was no accident, but rather the effects of man's destructive nature upon the environment. Mister, I don't know who you are, but your mustache smells like a mildewed saddle blanket. I reckon that'd be Cardo's oil smelling like that. Uh, <clears throat> I consider myself to be rather progressive, but not all that forgiving, sir. In the future, I'd beg you kindly to keep your sexual antics out of our conversations. Who are you, anyway? Well, Mr. Boer, this here's a fellow that's been bragging about finding the Platinum Peacemaker and taking it back to Lubbock. Are you mad enough, son? Let's just put it this way, Mr. Boer. I don't aim to go anywhere till I lay hold to the Platinum Peacemaker. Now, I hope you're drinking that gin with your gun hand. Just as I know you still got friendly intentions. Uh, easy, boys. My advice to you would be to watch your carbon footprint around here. Folks in El Dorito don't take kindly to interlopers. Just one minute, boys. If any of you has a mind to saving the planet, polar bears, or the pink speckled fuzzy butt out, then I suggest you start by getting on out of here. I wish you'd stay out of this, ma'am. You brought me into this when you killed my father. Leave the peacemaker be, son. For your sake and the souls of many. again for coming. Wasn't sure if you'd come and stop boring his fiendish plans, but now I know you're serious about it. Plans? Boar plans to use the Platinum Peacemaker to kill the governor. Where, here? Then why would the governor be coming to El Dorito? You know, I really have no earthly idea. It's almost as if it's due to some divine script or something. Anyway, thanks again for coming. Are you really going to get the peacemaker and save the governor? Well, I don't know. I didn't even vote for the fella. I voted for some kinky fella. Oh. <laughs> Not that kinky. <sighs> oh, sorry, kiddo. I ain't got no beans. Beans? I cast thee to the pit of hellfire! <sighs> okay, action. Chester, take three men with you and keep an eye on that black gentleman. If he thinks he's getting the peacemaker, he's right, but not in the manner he believes. Hey, hey! You owe me a penny for that candy you stole, you thieving rattlesnake! Pick up weapon! But Simpson. And what if I don't? I bring justice out a little and you go jail for little. I'm just fun on you, Sheriff. Ain't no sense in going to the Huskow. Listen, Wang, I'm not asking you to kill the governor. Just look the other way when he has his, well, accident. I already look out the way when men Shanghai butt Simpson. All the, uh, uh, the, ordinarily, I arrest you for conspiracy, Mr. Ball. You very bad man. Ah, uh, but now I wasn't a bad man when I rescued your family from building the railroad and running a laundry, now was I? 
You owe me a debt of honor, Wang. Listen, just stay out of it. Maybe I'll make you mayor of El Dorito. Otherwise, well, I'll just have to kill you. Dang, Chester! Mr. Moore didn't say squat about no torture! Oh, shut your bean shooting hand me the molasses, boy! Ha ha ha! Ooh! Oh! Hey, hey, guy, that's cold! That's cold! <laughs> what oh. that sun don't burn Ooh. it right away, them ants will take care of! Ha ha ha! Well, shucks, I don't know. Mr. Moore told us not to be underestimating this feller. Let's just up and shoot him. All I know is Mr. Boar won't be the wiser of how we end up killing this here fella. Unless you up and ride on me. You ain't gonna tell on me, is you, boy? No, I promise I weren't. All right, let's make tracks back to town and wait for the governor. Not here. Ain't seen him for a while now. Then where is he? The governor is on his way. Why don't you ask the sheriff? Bart's a dang club, though. He's probably sitting over in Wang's jail. Trap no hairy no more. He reefed down and returned Rabba. You know, I knew he was a coward the first time I laid eyes on him. Now, whatever he is, now he's no coward. Then where is he? Hey, hey! Ah! 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 Oh. I didn't figure I'd be saved by the likes of you two. Oh, no. What the? Well, can oh, we blow? No! No! You know? No, no, because cause I done went and shot you. Okay, all right, well, before we did have that coming, you know. All right, that's what's up. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Obliged. Nah, you keep that, man. Maybe to bring you good luck. Me and Deshaun here, we're going to Chicago, make our own money with that fancy dance move of his. It's a show with soul. And with some great jams and some fine ladies who will shake they booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there sounds like a good plan, guys. Yeah. Huh? What you gonna call it? Don't know yet, but we got time. Hell, we was just getting ready to hop the train. We runs into you all staked out like a bride on her wedding night. <laughs> <sighs> well, I reckon we better get a move on. Yeah, it is about that time. Huh? It is about that time. Yeah. yeah. Got me some unfinished business to attend to myself. All right. All hey, right. good luck with that um, that uh, soul train thing you got going. Hey, 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 them words is catchy. Soul, soul train. train. Soul, soul train. train. Yeah, I like that, man. I like the ladies and some music, man. Yeah. And some beer. Boar has bullied and profited from the people long enough. If a man won't do something about it, a woman will. Cambian Malo, Gubernador. Why, he don't look shocked to me! Shut up. I missed. How could I miss? I guess that's because you were aiming at the governor. And I ain't him. <laughs> Where in the hell's the governor? Miles away. <laughs> Bruh. 
brave move, son. But I'm betting you're so dumb you couldn't hit the ground with your hat and three throws. Looks like I'm just going to have to kill you before we'll ever know for sure. Pull that trigger in your brains or plant food. Not so fast, Missy. Give me the gun and drop the rifle. I knew never to trust a man who tricked patrons for drinks. And drinks for tricks, ma'am. I like my women ornery, but I never did cotton to you much. First it's a business, and then it's... It's... You know what? I just don't like you. That's quite far enough, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, you're as slick as a dog out horse, all right. But you got yourself a $10 Stetson on a five cent head. Now kindly reach so I can see your belly. Hold it right there, big guy. You know, I'm surprised you can hold that big gun up with those limp wrists of yours. Now listen and listen tight, Pilgrim. Somebody ought to shoot you. But I won't. I won't. The hell I won't. I thought you were dead. Well, not hardly. I'd shoot your cojones off, if you had any. The odds are against you. We've had a worse. Okay, Bridges! Put your hands in sky quickly. Not you. You. The hell you doing, Wang? You owe me a debt of honor. Grandfather say, owe oh, no honor to men who have no honor. My daddy said that? No, mama's daddy said that. You daddy say go east to America, work on that road and make lots of money. Oh yeah. Thanks, Wang. Now hand me the peacemaker, nice and easy like. Don't be trying no funny business. This here ain't the improv. I'll see you swing for this, Wang. Not married. Have no wife. He means you're gonna hang, Wang! Shut up, like you, and put your hands in the sky! Mr. Ball, hand the priest maker to Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Kung Fu? Cowboy is no Kung Fu? What you think this is? Bad Chinese cowboy movie? Well, this is turning into my kind of movie after all. Bad boy. Thank bad you, boy. sir. May I have another? Thank you, sir. May I have another? Thank you, sir. May I have another? It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! Bang! I guess, I guess it brought me luck after all. Chester? I, I, I want to be good for a change. 
I want a big house with a white picket fence and some pretty flowers and a dog and some kids. Well, maybe just a dog, Mr. Boar. <laughs> Please, scrumbag. Well, hold up there, Pilgrim. Wang didn't shoot Boar. I did. I did. Shot him from ambush in that alley there. Hell, in a movie like this, even I can lower my standards. So what's next for you two? We're going to California. Can't tell there's a place for fellas like us. <laughs> Is that a banana in your pocket? But how'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> So what about you two? I think we'll just catch up on some old times. What about the Platinum Peacemaker? Uh, Platinum Peacemaker? That's more than just a gun. It, it exemplifies a, a higher idea for all humanity. Because it's representative of that which, which we all desire. Whatever our desires may be. But, but which we also know we cannot hold, maintain, or keep possession of. It's representative of a, our collective dream in that many likewise desire it, but few will ever possess it. And if they do, not for long. Yeah, but what does all that mean? suppose it means I'll be putting it on eBay first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What happened to the governor? Well, Peso, looks like I don't get to kiss the girl at the end of this picture. Yeah. <laughs> Politics, huh? I think I could do that. I think I could do that. <laughs> A black man in political office. Yeah. Yeah. That'll never happen. It could. It could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Not in this day. Yeah.